Okay. Let's go on. Let's talk more to Melody. <sighs> this is why I don't talk to journalists. They all want to pry into my life. Can't you wait for my autobiography? I promise I'm working on it. Pinky promise. We don't want to pressure you, Melody, but every bit of information we get could be useful in pointing us towards the individuals that attacked Hayden. Hmm, <laughs> alright. Off the record. Of course. Fine, ask away. Uh, what's up with Pat? <laughs> what's up with Pat? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Pat is a prototype as well. Flower had a short-lived project that attempted to use neural implants to increase the cognitive power of non-human animals. It worked, to an extent. Pat's smarter than the average bear, but not by much. <laughs> Pat, you don't need that. Oh, be quiet. After the project was squashed, mostly for being a money pit, Pat was the only surviving success story. The eggheads didn't know what to do with him, so I decided to keep him around here. He's not a bad companion, if a tad taciturn. Mm. Give it up, Pat. You're no Shakespeare. <laughs> Aw, they like each other. Yeah, dot 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 as well. We'll dot 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 together. <laughs> they make a cute couple. What's your history with flour? Well, Mommy Dearest first started the company half a century ago. Quickly I let it turn from a cutting-edge medical research group into a department of Defense Super Soldier Cyborg Factory. I took over when she got lymphoma and had to fight tooth and nail to turn flour into something that churned my guts a little less. Now we're back to making medical tech and consumer neural implants rather than brains inside tin cans with lasers strapped to the front. If the US government wants more war-grade cyborgs, then they'll have to get them elsewhere. Never mind them being banned by the Geneva Convention. Guess that's the gist of it. Unless you want the sordid details of the two decades of board meetings I had to fight through until I managed to buy my majority stake in the company. Nope! Lines up with what the Mesh says. Well, I'm happy the Mesh managed to get something right, at least. So, how involved are you now? Not at all? Because I doubt that, right? I mean, I still own the damn thing, but frankly, I'm tired. I let the current CEO and the board do what they want, with the understanding that I'll shit-can them if they do anything egregiously stupid. Like, say, create more cyborg assassin war machines. These days, I mostly spend my time talking to Pat and practicing my painting. <gasps> I love painting! What do you do? Oh, nothing fantastic, just still life, mostly. The most bougie of painting. I'll never be known for my artistic skills, but I enjoy it. It's very meditative, isn't it? I agree very much. I look forward to when all of this is over and I can get back to my canvases. Would you mind taking a look at my work, since you're my aunt and all? <laughs> well, we can play a little. Uh, we can play a little. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. It's a date. That sounded weird. I'd like to ask something else now, please. What's the story between you and Fairlight? Let's go from one nice conversation to a much more awkward one. Ah, oh, I'm glad that they have they can paint and they use their painting to reflect their own personalities, right? It's nice. Oh hell. That old bastard and I have been flashing daggers at each other for the better part of 20 years. I contracted out the software development for our first gen direct linked VR neural implants to System 1. Things were going great, but after the first models sold like gangbusters, Yannick tried to get into bed with me. Literally. I knew it! I knew it was a passionate thing. I turned him down, very politely, I might add. Then suddenly all the co cooperation between our companies dried up. We've been at it back and forth ever since. I'd be damned careful about trusting him if I were you. He's a snake. He'll do anything he can to get what he wants. Still... I suppose if he tried again now, I might not turn him down. It would be fun to needle him about me still having my own company when he doesn't have his. <laughs> I think that's everything we need to know. Good! I can get back to my retirement. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Melody. We'll be in touch later. 
Oh, one more piece of information for you, if you like it. Oh, this can be the juicy bit. This is gonna be the good bit. I've got the contact info for a uh, Vincent Mensa, who I think might be of help to you. Vincent was working more closely with Hayden inside Parallax, mostly on his company-approved research on data collating algorithms for the mesh. I'll send him a message and ask him to meet you somewhere. He owes me a favor anyway. He might be able to give you some information on anything else Hayden might have been working on. Awesome! Okay, we've got a lead from her. Perhaps Golden Gate Park? That's public and crowded for the safety of us all. And that should work. Be careful out there, Turing. I'd hate to see that you get killed. I will exercise caution, Melody. But I have contacts that can affect any repairs I may need. You don't understand. Hayden's design uses your base hardware configuration to generate your core personality profile. Each repair will make your the little idi idiosyncrasies of your hardware mismatched against your personality algorithms. Too much change and the whole thing collapses. You'll have to be rebooted from scratch. So, I'm sorry to say, but you're as mortal as the rest of us, Turing. Oh no! Oh dear! Melody has uh, upped the stakes a lot. Yeah, I can tell. You really need to get your hands on Hayden's files. There's plenty I don't know, so maybe I'm wrong. I only remember some of what Hayden told me about, now how he put you together. Just look out for yourself. Okay. Whew. We've learned a lot. Uh, we know now about not trusting Yannick Fairlight. Uh, we know that Hayden worked a lot on Turing as a side project to actually his real projects of literally immortality. Um, we know that Turing is now a mortal being, not immortal. And all of a sudden, this has become a huge theme. What is humanity and what is immortality? And how does that work into this? Oh, we just went... We went into the deep side of uh, what, what is the point, what is the whole plan, why do we do cyberpunk? Let's leave, let's peace out. Actually, uh, I wonder, I want to just, what is the cat listening to? Oh, that's not right. It already knows who you are and it's unimpressed. <laughs> I want to use my headphones on stuff. Whoa, that little helmet he wears is constantly translating the TV into growls and grunts in his ears so he can understand. Cool. Use the brochure for the human revolution. Last time Media Blitz hosted a celebrity that supported the human revolution, the amount of angry emails the studio received caused a network-wide ban on the issue. How does your planter sound? The plants are listening to an ambient trance playlist on a platform called Rooty. They are listening to music. There's a gardening ROM back here. Malcolm Model ROM is tending to the garden. Oh, uh... Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to know. What's this little ROM doing here? Like the high stakes socialite relationships it monitors, the Rosie is extremely delicate. What does the Rosie like to listen to? No! Flash at my ID card. Background program researches your entire family history. It now knows it now knows more about where you came from than you ever have. Good. I'll leave now. Before I get caught up in anything else, any other shenanigans. Cool. So we can go to Golden Gate Park right now. Oh, guess we won't go to KCOB. Let's follow through before we go to KCOB. Oh hey! What's up? This guy! Vegeta, what's Scott? Can I help you with something? I don't really have time to talk. I'm waiting for someone. Um, are you Vincent Mensa? We're here for a meeting on behalf of Melody Flores. Oh good, you're Melody's people. Do you have the things that I asked for? Uh, there must be some miscommunication. Melody said that you would be able to provide us with some information about Hayden Weber's projects with Parallax? He's gone missing. And any information we could get may be useful. Damn that old woman. 
We had a deal. She promised me those things, and I'm not giving her anything until I get them. I already know Hayden is missing. Why else would I be willing to sell corporate secrets to Flower? This is my chance to get away from Parallax. Instead, she sends the two of you hat in hand with none of the things I need. I'm assuming you're Hayden's little pet AI. Uh, insulting, but y'all. Look, it's not that I don't want to help. I do. Hayden was a colleague and a friend. But if I just hand over his research, I lose most of my leverage. I need help getting the hell out of here. I'll just have to shop it around again, since Flower isn't interested in information on Parallax's new big project. Maybe after I get a buyer, I'll be able to pass it on to you. Perhaps we could assist you? My friend here is a terrific journalist. Being skilled at hunting down people's information is his job. Uh, I don't know. Look, I need 100,000 credits cash, fake passports for me and my wife, and an untraceable car. If you can get me that, I can get the hell out of here and get to Canada. And I'll give you anything you want. Hayden's research notes, what I know about Parallax, my company security credentials, whatever, I just can't stay in Neo SF anymore. Uh, yeah, we could, we might be able to do that. <laughs> might? Do you mind answering some other questions first? What? Why? What? Melody only gave us a rough sketch of what you need. The more you can tell us about the situation, the sooner we can fulfill your request. Okay, sure, as long as it isn't any of the juicy stuff. Yeah, we're asking real basic questions here. Do you... Don't even worry, Mensa. I'm the head of applications engineer for their data analysis division. Or maybe was, is what I should be saying. If Hayden's the big brain who comes up with the math that runs the search algorithms, I'm the guy who figures out how to collect and apply the data we get. We've worked pretty closely for years, but he is head and shoulders above me as far as the theory goes. I just build stuff out of the things he hands me. I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit here, Vincent. Hayden was just a computer scientist, if a good one. Was? Is, I mean, slip of the tongue, getting used to my independence from him. Ah, and that right there proves my point. Hayden built a fully independent machine intelligence in his spare time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash myself here. I'm a good software engineer, probably one of the best. But machine intelligence in a form factor like yours, now that blows my mind. We've got full immersion virtual reality and brains and boxes running around inside android shells. Yet most people would still call you science fiction. <laughs> uh, if you say so, okay. I do. I'm gonna say so. I said it just so. Right now. So, uh, yeah, why are you getting out of Neo SF? I mean, I get that it's Neo SF, but like, Canada's not a little bit, a little bit of a stretch here? Cause Parallax is rotten from the inside out. Hayden goes missing is the last straw. There's, uh, what's the best way of saying this without giving away their game? This new project that is about to roll out is likely to change everything about how Parallax does their business. Not in an end user kind of way, but everything behind the scenes will certainly change. We've had some board shakeups since the launch of the MeshNet. The people at the top are different from the ones who've previously run the company. They're harder, more ruthless, and more concerned with profits than ever before. The altruism the company had displayed in the past is gone, and this new project has promised to give the board owners more power. See what we're emulating here? Are you following? <laughs> they are straight up just being like, we're Google. <laughs> We've taken over San Francisco, and we kind of don't care about people anymore, even though we're the most powerful company in the world. We have a huge corporate power to us as, as technological leaders, and uh, we're about to make a lot of money. So uh, yeah, that's, that's Google, that's also Amazon. Most of your giant corporate startup, uh, corporate, entities, tech entities that were startups at one point. Not just richest company in the valley power either, like real power. They got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish something that would get in the way of that. Very, you can see there's like a little anti open source kind of thing uh, where Hayden was not this seething capitalist monster like what the corporate groups are 
Um, and so him publishing certain types of things that could open up huge like singularities around the world, uh, that's a problem. It's a problem when you're Google, when you're Parallax. Not to be too dramatic, but I think they got rid of him for good too. Rumors and speculation, but uh, anyway, if they're willing to get rid of the brightest mind on their peril, they payroll, what's to stop them from getting rid of me? There's half a dozen people who could do my job. So I'm getting out before I accidentally step on the wrong person's toes and end up at the bottom of the bay or whatever. That makes sense, a little reactionary, but like, yeah, I follow your logic perfectly. You know anything about Hayden's disappearance? Nothing concrete. I probably wouldn't have noticed anything out of the ordinary. I mean, Hayden goes out for a couple of days all the time, right? Conferences, guest teaching. He doesn't exactly share his itinerary with me, but they cleared out his office, revoked his security clearances, and confiscated everything he'd been working on the other did with the other divisions. I asked around and no one will say anything. If he had jumped ship, went to a different company, it would be the talk of the week at the water coolers. Instead, dead silence. Thankfully, he allowed me to keep backups of most of his work, simply because I cross-referenced it so much. He didn't like having it all in one place anyway. Other than that, I don't know anything specific. Ooh, he might have details. We'll go get those things for you. Sure, I guess I can stick around here for a while. I need to make some calls, and this water rom thing is funny. <laughs> yeah, water rom's a funny, funny guy. If you do manage to get what I need, I'll give you anything you want. Forwarding photos and info for the passports to Turing now. And I really hope you can do this. I'd rather give it to you than some other corporation anyway. See you soon. <laughs>